Okay guys, here we are going in. This is the entrance at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas here in San Antonio. So we went here the other day and I just wanted to film a little bit and show you guys, but there's a couple of different entrances that you can use depending if you have a season pass, a membership, or you basically just got your single day ticket. So we're going in this one because we do have the season pass or actually we have the membership. So they are starting um, to decorate a little bit for Halloween. So this is around the September time frame. So they have some cool stuff that they've started to put up. This is the entrance. And right when you walk into the right, you do see the uh, Six Lights Mercado, which is like an indoor shop. And I am gonna do a little bit of, um, I'll show, I'll record a little bit of inside of the shops next time. I just wanted to do a brief overview. But to the left, we have the Mockingbird Funnel Cake. So you can get your funnel cake. We've got the photos over here. So if you do have one of those little keychains or whatever they sell for the pictures of the day, you can stop there and get it. To the left, there's a place where they have shows. So it's pretty cool. Everything's easily accessible. Like this is one of the easier parks. I've been to the one in Arlington, and here's the actual membership area, the Season Pass Center. See it right there, the pink? It's all right there in case you have questions or you need help, any you know anything at all with your Season Pass, you just go there. They do have an information desk, which is cool. And then straight up ahead is where you can see they've started to decorate a little bit for the Halloween season. Ooh, so you gotta... Is that like a ghost pumpkin? What is that? Restrooms are on the left. It's nice, you got water. Ooh, look at that. Pumpkin. Here, it gets pretty scary at night. Not even gonna lie, it is scary. Well, I'm just a big chicken, so pretty scary. Depends. And they have the, uh, the people, right? The actors that are following you around, so that can get a little scary. It's cool, people always hang out right here. Or if you're meeting up with your class from school. And uh, down this little walkway path is where you start heading into more gift shops. The rest, the, um, yeah, the little restaurants, the fast food places, right? So it gets so pretty. Like this is one of my favorite parks. I just love the way the layout is. Very nice. And so here, see they put up some of these because these things aren't here during the rest of the season. This is like the scary choir, whatever, they're getting married. <laughs> they had the choir last time, that's why I said that, but now it looks like a bride and groom. This is Spasburg, so that's where they have the Looney Tunes ride. Very nice water ride from Bugs Bunny. Very nice, very nice. Fun, fun, fun. So it's kind of sad for me when winter comes and they don't, um, of course it's not on during that time. The park is open year round, but Bugs Bunny Water Ride is not, of course. All right, and as we start heading uh, into this way a little bit further, this is where they have one of the haunted houses. I know it's not here yet, but, or at least they had one last year. I don't know what they're gonna do this year. So now, like I said, they just started. Here's a little candy shop. And your dining pass is also good at this candy shop. So here we are inside of the, um, I forget the name of it, but it's right inside of the, the little German place. So it's really neat. I think it might be Spasberg. So they have the new strawberry icy. That's cool. And they, of course they have the usual ones, but there's the strawberry. Mm -hmm. Here's a Batman ride coming out of there, right? One of the top rides that they have. They have the Joker, of course, too, but Batman is, you know, Batman is Batman. So it's always going to be nice. And here's the new, um, the little carousel that they had installed because that wasn't there. There used to be like picnic tables and stuff there where you could eat. That's been really popular. Here's the other part of the Bugs Bunny ride. So that's really nice. Here's the rest of the Batman ride. It's too bad I couldn't record with the sounds or anything because it's going to be copyrighted. And they had a lot of like music playing throughout the park. Like literally a lot of copyright music. <laughs> it's 
so for YouTube purposes, we can't do that. So that was left out, sad to say. And no matter what position I try to record in the park, it was still, the song was playing right here. I, yeah. So here's a little where they sell beer. They sell some alcohol. Here's the poltergeist. There's the um, to the left, and then the scream, of course, is straight ahead. And this is where they have all the little, like, um, like more games. So that's nice. I like it because they keep, like, a 50s-style theme. Look, there's, there's Super Mario. He's not from the 50s, but they have all the Super Mario prizes that you can win. You can take a little picture right there with him. That's cute, but a lot of people miss it. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I like the Joker stuff. Uh, Harley Quinn. That is so nice. And so here we are going past this um, where the games are. I didn't film it, but to the left is the um, like little car place where you can get like pizza. Not pizza, but you can get like hamburgers. Uh, chicken strips, fries. Here's another thing of the games. These are some cool prizes too. And here's another little setup for the for the Halloween. Looks like an alien, like a spaceship kind of, right? I don't know. But it does get creepy here. So the thing to remember is that after 5 p.m., that's when, uh, here's another candy shop. After 5 p.m., it's when all the, uh, they make like a little siren sound and all those things come out of the ghouls or whatever they're called. <laughs> okay, so here's the little kitty, kitty, kitty rides for the small kids. And then you got the Fiesta Bay Boardwalk. This is really cool. This is one of the cooler um, areas in the park, which is the boardwalk. Love it. I just love the feel of the boards, the boardwalk. So it makes you feel like, like you're going to like a beach area or something. I just love it. I like that they did this. Here's the Wave Runner. So that's one of the rides. And they have a Johnny Rockets, which is so popular in this whole park. That's where they have the burgers, fries, and shakes. Very nice. They got some more rides. See? And of course, the milkshakes here are super delicious. There's always a line here. The thing with the dining pass is that it's only from 11.30 in the morning to 7.30 at night. So if you are coming here, you better be in line like by 6.30, literally, because it's just the thing with the times, you know, because if you're in line, it's after the dining pass time, then you're probably going to pay for your meal, depending on who helps you at the cashier right in the front. See, those are the dining, so you can pause it to read that. But guys, going into this, uh, I combined two videos together. So this is another area that La Cantera, here's the Microsoft window store. And we came here as well, but I wanted to combine both of them because they are some really neat locations and they're close to each other. So coming out of Six Flags, you know, spend some time with the kids, go to the pink store afterwards. They have, they, I wanted to really show, look, there's an Apple store here, but they are like super close, like literally coming out of the park, La Cantera is right there. So, I mean, you could do it vice versa, but they have something for everybody. There's Bath and Body Works, they have Lush. These are handmade cosmetics, so super quality, high-end quality things are here. And I love it because, see, you're coming out of the park and this is an outdoor mall, so it's a little more relaxed, you know? Steve Madden still have the same quality from the regular mall but it's outdoorsy so it's it's just nice I love it K Jewelers it just brings a whole different feel to it and the structures are so pretty look at that a little waterfall thing the water feature that is nice all the designs are very nice they were really well built I just personally think it's better. But in the winter, which I have been here, OMG, it is cold, windy, the works. 
But believe it or not, in Christmas, this whole thing lights up so beautifully. They decorate it so nicely. And everybody just seems happier, you know, because they're outside. Even with the, look at this guy. They even have a Godiva. That is nice. The popular things, right? Like the cell phone cases. Everything's here. Sunglass hut. Hollister is here too. So that is really neat. Pause it. Even Kona Grill. Saw that? So they have something, you know, like I said, for everybody. They even have places to eat in here. So it's a really relaxed atmosphere, see? It's really nice. What is this? Oh, Bahama Bucks is here too. I didn't see that even when I recorded. <laughs> Paxson. This is very neat. That is so neat. Look at this. They have the whole little area right here so you can sit down, maybe eat something. They have journeys, buckle. It's just really cool. I really enjoyed this better than being cooped up in the mall. There's even a Sephora here. That is awesome. And there's a Forever 21, I think, in here, if I'm not mistaken. Look at how huge Sephora is. I personally think it looks better than the mall. Like the inside mall. I mean, there's finish line, there's shoes. Yeah, there is a Forever 21. It's right there. See it? That is so nice. So as we're going in here, what I was really uh, wanting to do is look at the, the cases here for the Apple phone, for the iPhone. But I'm looking for this cute little kitty case that I didn't find. I mean, they do, see, these are called the shops at La Cantera. If you ever wanna check them out, Google them on Google Maps or kind of check them out more. Here's the entrance to Forever 21. And of course, you're always gonna find something here. Like, this is my favorite store. Favorite, favorite. So not bad, they're 39. And everything's so reasonably priced too at Forever 21. Like, you can look really good and not spend a bunch of money. Those are cute tops. See, here's the cases. Like this one's so cute. Little poppy. Um, yeah, here's some more. They have the little strawberry headphones. There's this one too, but see, I have the plus case, so I couldn't fit any of these. That was one of the things that I just, I mean, I just could not absolutely find a case that I wanted. Could not find it. But everything else was pretty neat. Here's the little, those little um, spin pop things. So you can prop your phone. They have so many designs. This is the one that I wanted right here, the cat one. But they have the six, seven, and eight, just not the plus. So it's so disappointing. And I even asked the girl in the front, but she said they just didn't carry it, they didn't make it. And I checked online, still wasn't available, but it was, it, I mean, it would just, just would have been a really neat idea. And here's some of the makeup they carry. So they do carry some good little brands too for less money, like the NYX stuff. They have a lot of Wet n Wild, like the setting sprays. See, there's the NYX. There's another one for the sculpting. And I think that's at $12. I couldn't really see the price. They have e.l.f. They have a lot of the brushes too. The little blending sponges. Those are so cute. These are like your little phone stands, but I just, I don't know about putting my phone in there. It's so cute. That's nice, like where you can prop it, right? On your desk. I really like these. 
and they're little kitty cats. See them? <laughs> These are cute. Here's some more little keychains. Little crab and froggy. Oh, popsicle. That is cute. Or the luggage tags. See ya. They have some stuff that you wouldn't, like you wouldn't think of finding. What is that? Like a paperweight? Going places. It's so nice. This phone case was nice. The beauty, brains, beauty, and bold determination. But I couldn't find it in the size that I needed. So I ended up buying the feminist bag, literally. <laughs> I wanted to get this pink one, but I don't know. These were marked down so much from 1990, I paid like four something for it. So that's a cute little lunch bag. Look at this llama. Take a drink. <laughs> that looks funny. These are cute. Look at the pineapple, flamingo. That little face is cute. I keep seeing that little face. Hi. <laughs> that was funny. The panda. Yeah, that is really cute. Like I said, you can probably spend your entire like savings in here. It's the kind of store that it is, literally. For me, I mean, it's just one of my favorites. These are five dollars. That I think I've seen them at the pink store for less. Like depending on where, where the time you're looking, right? When you're looking, things like that. You can really get some good sales. Look at that little donut eye mask. And they have tweezers. I almost bought the little tweezers because they're so cute. I did buy this one. I bought my little girl the pink ones, I think. So these are cute for when you're painting your nails, your little toenails. They separate. And they're just adorable. I have an eyebrow razor. Did y'all see that? The illuminating spray, blush, like that's that little mousse, right? The liquid kind of creamy mascara top coat. And it's waterproof. So that is for, you get that primer. It's just really good. Thing. Here's another setting spray and it's little like for travel. So anything that's really small, like three ounces or smaller, I think it's 2.5 now or 2.9. You can easily get on the plane when you carry on. That's another thing. So remember, I'd be talking about that. All right, guys. Don't forget to subscribe.